Good afternoon again. This is Dr. Mark Bashara. I'm going to be addressing a few of the frequently asked questions here from the St. Regis Hotel in Bangkok, Thailand, where we were just participating as the luminary speaker uh, on behalf of the artist's uh, device that is produced by the Restoration Robotics Company. One of the first uh, uh, list of questions that I have, uh, have here to uh, sort of reiterate and try to recapture them for both the providers and for consumers out there that have specific questions that uh, revolve around robotic hair transplant procedures. Um, <clears throat> in general, to describe uh, the very fundamentals of this um, procedure, the robot is designed to extract, uh, to excuse me, to d dissect, and for technicians to go behind the dissections in the back, hair by hair, and then uh, manually extract these these uh, follicles and turn around and transplant them into areas that are that are thinning out. Um, this has traditionally been a very labor-intensive uh, process. But now with the evolution of the uh, robot, much of the surgeon's time is spent in the creative aspects of designing the hairline um, and not on uh, physically uh, follicle by follicle uh, having to go and, and dissect those, uh, those graphs. Um, all of the hair that you uh, transplant is uh, coming from an area that we denote as the universal donor area. So by definition, these areas are less affected by uh, the molecule DHT or the, one of the more potent forms of testosterone that is the uh, culprit for thinning out hair and the root cause uh, for uh, the majority of androgenetic alopecia or male pattern baldness. The typical steps of the uh, artist procedure are going to be broken down in the next video. Thanks again, and uh, we welcome and uh, thank you for joining us here at the St. Regis Hotel in Bangkok, Thailand.